Hey everyone, today I want to show you a tool that I have already used in several of my projects and this is super easy tool for adding simple animations and effects to your projects. This is Phrase, simple animation tool for creating lot animation and micro interactions. We can import uh, simple images, lot files, SVG files and layers from Figma using plugin. Then easily animate with timelines and export as lottie file, gif file or mp4 completely for free. In dashboard we have a lot of different templates that we can use, but today we'll show you how add animation for website design. So let's get started. This is dashboard and right here we have a lot of templates, but today uh, I want to create a new project and let's name it security. Now let's go to Figma and let's see what we're gonna do. And this is effects that we will create right now. And this is my static design in Figma. And to make it more interesting, I want to add a couple animations. And first of all, I want to add animation to my logo on first screen. And to do this, I prepared my logo shape and these lines. What I need to do, just select these layers and export as SVG. After that, let's go back to phrase and let's create new animation. In the right top corner, let's press on new and on left side, we can rename it, for example, to logo. Now let's insert our SVG in left panel in main menu. Let's select insert SVG, select logo, insert SVG and select lines. So interface similar to Figma, so in left panel we have our tools, uh, we have select and scale, we can create rectangle, oval container, we have pen tool, we can add text, add new assets, hand and comments, in right side we have share and export, we can export as GIF, MP4 and Lottie files, and on the right side we have our settings and on the left side we have our layers. So let's ungroup these shapes and let's rename. So this will be logo and this will be lines. When I'm select layer I have properties on right side for each of these layers. I want to change size for my artboard so select screen and in right panel I change size to 750. Now let's place in the middle all these layers and I want to create a mask for my shape. So I select logo shape and move above line. Then select these two layers and we can add mask. Click on top panel on the mask or just right click and right here we have mask selection. Now I have my mask and inside my shape logo I have lines inside. To animate uh, we can press on bottom icon or just press A on keyboard. We have our timeline and on left side we have current time, so it's current position on our timeline and we have duration. Right now it's 2 seconds, but we can increase size to 60 seconds. For this animation let's use 5 seconds. So I select line with control and change size to make it smaller and completely invisible. After that let's move keyframe maybe to 4 seconds, select lines layer and again increase size to make it huge like this and try to make it invisible when it will be huge. Now we have our end position and start position and when we go to zero and start animation, we have animation for these lines that will be invisible. Now, to make it more interesting, we can add one more layer with these lines and maybe from these two seconds, it will start one more animation right here and also increase size. To do this, let's duplicate lines layer, copy, paste and let's rename it to lines 2. So right now we have two layers with lines and let's select lines number two. Let's move in this position. Let's change size and place maybe right here. Let's delete position 
from this point from the zero and it means that our lines 2 will be only start from 2 seconds now we have just zoom and i want to add rotation so we have only zoom let's go to 4 seconds select lines and in right panel let's add rotation change size a little bit and again it need to go to clear space to make it invisible in the end and now let's see so when we go to this position we have our lines that will rotate at the same time now it's completely invisible so i want to add maybe border to my logo duplicate logo layer copy paste and i will move above other layers select this layer and in fill just change opacity to zero and add border i'll copy same color paste and change border to two pixels now we have our border and animations inside now i can export this animation like mp4 gif file or lotti and first of all i want to make it with transparent background so select frame and in right panel change fill to 0% and now this is in transparent animation after that go to export and for example for figma presentation i can use gif file so just export and for developer we can export a lotti file this is preview for lotti and again we can just press export after export we can paste logo as gif file in same position as my previous logo on first screen and let's see in preview mode how it looks and now we have animation for first screen also i want to create animation for my button right here and let's prepare it so i have my button let's create frame and this will be my first state and i want to create state like a press button so we can create circle black change to gradient same color and let's rotate and this will be my pressed button select frame go to plugins then press export to phrase now let's animate this button with imported uh, layers so i can ungroup these layers and i don't need background so I'll delete all these layers will be button let's rename to button and this layer will be gradient now let's go to animate timeline and let's go to zero and duration will be two seconds let's create pressed effect so uh first of all i need to select gradient and in right panel let's change opacity to zero and move keyframe to 0.4 press one more time on opacity and we have our keyframes with zero opacity and from this point i want to add a point where we have 100 percent opacity so i move maybe on 0 0.5 and change opacity to 100 when we play animation we have our pressed button and now i want to create effect that kind of unpressed slowly unpressed so let's move on timeline keyframe to maybe 1.4 select gradient change opacity to zero so i want to create effect with a simple circle that go from center when we click on this button so first of all let's create oval it will be same size as my color on button in right panel let's let's delete the fill and add border add orange color let's go to animate and move this layer above other layers let's rename to circle and go to zero on timeline let's change opacity to zero move in position when we pressed on button so 0 0.5 again add opacity at keyframe with 0% so for this time we have a 0% for 
border and from this position when we click on button I want to create a fact that circle become invisible and then increase size so let's move maybe to 0 0.52 select circle change opacity to 100 so in this moment we have visible circle and from this point 52 we go to the right maybe to 1.4 and let's increase size now let's see how it looks when we press we have our border maybe let's move a little bit to the left in the middle or maybe let's change duration of this border it's longer okay now in this position when we go in final uh, position for this border let's change opacity to zero it means that when we press this border will appear and then disappear so let's see how it looks press okay we have border when we press on this button and let's add one more oval with gradient create one more oval it will be in same position let's move above other layers it will be circle 2 and now let's add a gradient so in the fill let's go to settings and select radial let's select orange color and reverse gradient okay now we have our gradient and let's add animation for this circle let's go to zero on timeline again change opacity to zero move to the right add keyframe for zero opacity then we have 100 percent then go next increase size and change opacity to zero now let's see how it looks when we press we have our animation for border and layer with gradient to make this animation more realistic we can add movement for button itself so let's select button group let's go to moment when we click on this button so maybe 0.45 then go to right panel and click on icon scale x and scale y so right now we have a scale position in this moment then go to move to the right maybe to 0.5 and change scale to 95 percent it means that now when we press we have our pressed effect and let's add animation that we unpressed slowly so let's move a little bit to the right maybe to uh, 0 0.65 and let's change scale to 100 percent so it means that when we click we have our movement and then go to first position so let's maybe change a little bit appearing for border so let's move to the right when we press and make it closer so let's check when we click we have our movement for button and our border animation again we can change a little bit timing for each of this movement and also we can select all this frames go to right panel and in settings we can change maybe to easy in out after that we can export as mp4 or as gif file so let's select screen change opacity to zero select and export as gif file paste our gif file to the project in same position as my old button and let's go to preview mode now we have our animation for button 
and this is small part what we can animate in phrase for our project and then export as mp4 give file lot of files and this is completely for free so take a look on this tool link will be in description have a nice day and see you on next tutorials